Despite what you might think, most website builders got CSS variables wrong. Today, you're going to see CSS variables in Web Studio, and oh my gosh, it's amazing. I've been using it for the past couple weeks, and I'm so excited. There are three big things that CSS variables unlock. Now, before you go and rebuild your website on Web Studio, be sure to watch until the end because we have a surprise for you. Number one, it enables reusability, so you never have to manually enter a color or a size again. You can define a global library and access those in your style values. I've got a menu right here and let me design it. I'm going to go to my background and select my gray 12. I'm going to enable a border and let's set this to be gray 11. And let's tab over to my width and give it a size of one and my radius. Let's see here. Let's go with three. And just like that, my section is good to go. It's really great to be able to reuse values and much quicker this way too. Number two, it enables experimentation. So you can figure out that perfect border color without having to add and remove tokens. It works by just going to your variables and arrowing through them. Get real-time rendering to figure out which border color or which variable works best here. Being able to experiment on the canvas like this allows us to build and design at the same time. Number three, it unlocks the ability to interact with a parent and modify any of the children's style values. So right here, I have links, which I hover over. I'm getting a different SVG color, a different background. I've got this arrow coming in and out with a transformation and opacity. That's right. Now you can create micro interactions and really cool hover effects by setting all the different variables on the parent and letting the children inherit those values. Now, before you go and rebuild your site, we have an announcement. Introducing Craft, the standard guideline for building on Web Studio. It includes CSS variables from OpenProps, an expertly crafted library of CSS variables that helps accelerate adaptive and consistent design. And as a community, we're working on setting the standards and guidelines for how we build. What should our token names be? How should we structure our navigator? Things like that. So that way we can collaborate, insert projects from the marketplace without our own design systems becoming cluttered. This is community driven. So check out the link below to contribute your thoughts on the standards we should set. Okay, now you can go ahead and rebuild your site on Web Studio using CSS variables. So you can define a global library and reuse those values throughout your site. You could experiment so you can design and build much easier to figure out that perfect border color. And you can interact with a parent and modify any of the child values for micro interactions and cool hover animations. Enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.